Holla if you hear me. Yeah. Uh. Here we go, turn it up, let's start. From block to block, we're snatching hearts and jacking marks. And the punk police can't fake me and make me. We can have peace someday, G. But right now I got my mind set up. Looking down the bottle, I'm a nah, get up. Cause it's time to make the payback back. Till my brothers on the block better stay strapped, black. And accept no substitutes. I bring truth to the youth. Tear the roof of the old school. Oh no, I'm on the turning of the cheek. So man, I don't think that this particular legal issue rises to the standard that it's enough to unseat an individual who's been mayor. Governor Granholm should stand down. Um, you know, we supported Governor Granholm for a first election. We supported Governor Granholm for a second election. During the re-election campaign, she vetoed the welfare bill. She called it racist, anti, and anti-Detroit, anti-black, anti-poor. Three, four months after her second inaugural, she signed the same doggone bill. I think what, I'm, what we're seeing now is a mechanism that's, to, that's put in place to try to dismantle that authority. Which is just another way of saying, make sure as many black people don't vote as possible. resources are phenomenal. First of all, the water. You know, any city that has the kind of uh, water resources that we have, it just makes living, you know, so much better. What's their agenda? What's their bigger agenda? And how's, it, how's their agenda going to affect my community a lot? There has been a move to try to take the water from the city uh, for a long period of time. The Detroit has access to a port that could take us and take us anywhere and do almost anything economically. And you know, Belle Isle, I mean, it's an incredible place. It has, you know, it is, it is the most visited park in the state and yet the least financed. Um, and the reason it's the most visited is because it is gorgeous. Essentially, at this point in history, Michigan has the largest amount of fresh water in the world. Water, while they're talking about oil, Water is really gold. Will I quit? Will I quit? They claim that I'm violent, but still I kick. Represent, never give up on a good thing. Wouldn't stop it if we could, it's a hood thing. And now I'm like a major play, cause I'll remind you of the things you were made to forget. Put in the noise to all my boys. Throw the real from the buses and the decoys. And if you're also like a real G, hold their fists if you feel me. Don't be fooled, public enemy said, don't believe the hype. should stay out of this because it started small in the city thing. I think people aren't being as critical as they can be and a lot of people are just regurgitating what the media is. So that in the minds of the people they say, oh, we as black people, we're not fit to serve. He's not fit to serve. Now, if anybody needs to chastise Kwame, no. we do. Uh, proof there has been no prosecution. So why would somebody step away from doing the job that they've been doing very well? Washington, D.C. is after you. If the state of Michigan is after you, if the attorney general is after you, if the Wayne County prosecutor is after you, and if city council is after you, I was taught by many of my great teachers, Dr. Khaled Muhammad and many others, told me that when white folks oppose you, you're usually doing the right thing. He knows what he needs to do when it comes to this city because for a person to have the desire to be mayor since he was nine years old and reach that goal, that means he was serious and that he has a vision that no one can see but him race. Don't turn around and run backwards because you win it. Keep running that same race, man. Do what you do and pass it to the next one. He left a loophole for them to, to, to really grab that, you know what I mean? They're not gonna remember that the good things that he did because they're not focusing on that. That's what they do to lose. And I just think that it's just not it's just not one person. It's his mistakes along with they mistakes. They don't want to make certain enemies. 
and in the game of politics, you can offend the wrong person, and your sins, whatever, your, your small sins, be exaggerated and, you know, exploited. If you choose to resign in the face of something that somebody has accused you of, not that you've been convicted of, not then anything anybody has found him guilty of, just accused him of, why would a person choose to resign because of an accusation? Are we judging this based on what he's did since he's been in there? Then that gives him a ticket to stay in? And I don't mean to be long-winded, long -winded, but under the creator, a father is the greatest leadership role one can have to me in my opinion, a parent, mother or father. And I've been criticized a lot by some of the closest people to me um, regarding my tactics as far as raising my children. You know what I mean? Some of which I look back on and say I could have done better. And I'll do better thus far. You learn better, you do better, or you should. So, but I still parent my children. And I'll never stop parenting my children. I might not be able to give them everything that I can when they want it or might request it or somebody else think they need it or I should have given it to them, even if I did have to give. But I still parent. I never step down from that, no matter what criticism I might, I might um, you know, come under because I have a job. To and that's my heart. So I tell them here, go with your heart. But if we can't get our stuff together and we keep showing that we can't handle it, see, to me, Detroit is like the last Africa. You know what I'm saying? And if we can't handle it, here they go. We're going to mess around and let them slide on in. If they slide on in, they're going to be just a hurt. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know what to really tell them, but just stay focused and keep your head up, man. And hey, come up with a better plan so you can come on top. Suffer 